Okay, so this is the software. So let's say we're going to enter a new pet. Um, so obviously we just click new pet. Um, his name. Pet owner. And that would then bring us to this screen. And so this is the folder that everything will be saved into. So it's all done by date, it seems. And um, we don't have the sensor or any of these things connected, so I can't use any of them. I can use a camera. And so obviously this is my webcam. And we can just capture an image or another image because why not and um, we can also pick assuming you've got multiple things connected i'm assuming you can pick all of them obviously this is the back side of my laptop with my fingers coming down super easy save and exit we've got our images now, that's the import function. I haven't looked at that very closely. Um, so we can then click back. And then let's say we want to search. So apparently there's one under the sample. So double click. And that has saved one that I did earlier. I'm using the video and under, I'm assuming this is meant to say demo, double clicking, this gives us, and double clicking again. So this is a separate viewer. Um, so I can minimize back to this screen, etc. In terms of tools, very straightforward and intuitive. Zoom in, zoom out, contrast. Um, for the contrast, I have noticed if you click outside of the actual image, it will do nothing. Um, but if you click within the image and then move the mouse around, it will respond as per what we're used to. Um, gamma levels, similarly. Local zoom is quite good. So this is a sort of a local contrast. So it just adjusts the contrast just to be a little bit higher. Um, I, I personally think that's quite good. And we have a measurement tool. So click one, click two, and it'll keep going. I've worked out just indefinitely until you right click to get rid of the next point, And then you can calibrate if needed as well. Uh, so the little calculator is the calibrate tool to bring that up separately from the measurement tool. We have line tools, arrows, circles or ellipses, super easy to use, freehand drawing. And we can choose a range of different colors. There are some custom colors it seems as well. Um, we'll go green. And there's also the option to change the width of the line. Um, width one is barely visible um, on, on my screen resolution and then width 16 clicking OK is much thicker. Um, so I'll put that back to four because that does carry across into some of the other tools. So it's the line draw tool. Um, so we've got this maximize restore. So I'm assuming if you've got multiple images open that will toggle between that. Auto arrange will similarly do that. Undo all changes, resets everything back to default. Underneath it is just undo, so that'll do the last step. Um, for the text, so turn the text tool on, click, and then we can type something. 
it okay? It is incredibly small though, and I haven't worked out how to make that bigger um, until actually it's almost unreadable small. I'm erase tool, so I can just go over that as well. Hide show annotations. So if we put in some, so this is the angle tool. So click, click, click. So four clicks, and it gives you the two angles. Um, so the hide annotations button doesn't work for the angles, but it does work for my drawings. So hide annotation, or I can bring that back. Um, standard rotates, clips, both horizontal and vertical. Uh, I haven't managed to work out what the blur tool does, if anything. Um, similarly for the sharpen, I haven't noticed any differences. Uh, we've got a histogram. So highlighting a region of interest, it sort of just gives us the grayscale histogram. Uh, image invert, fairly standard. Uh, save changes, email. I think that's an export, print, really standard. Uh, level extraction. Uh, I find these tools kind of cool, just out of my own interest. Um, let me just get rid of my annotations first so I can see it. Um, the downside is it doesn't move live, so the slider needs to be released for it to actually give you the information you're looking for. And I quite like that. Similarly, there's a false color one, works on the exact same principles. So it doesn't change live, but does show when released. And um, the 3D tool, I haven't noticed doing anything yet. And um, let's get rid of the histogram. And similarly for the relief, the relief shows something, but to me it just makes the image quality more grainy as opposed to actually doing something helpful. Uh, so in terms of image manipulation, really standard, nothing overly that we haven't seen before, um, sort of standard options in file, edit is just a rehash of everything that's already there, normal views, different sort of just screen arrangements, etc. Um, and then obviously help. Uh, so this acts as a separate window, so I can actually close the image. Uh, I won't save anything for argument's sake. And then I can then open up from my actual hard drive documents. If I know where my files are located, or similarly, you can just simply just close the viewer and then we're back here. Uh, so we've got the back tool. Um, certainly the demo version is fast. I have no, no issues with it. Uh, the pack server, I'm just referring to my own computer, so I don't know how easy or hard that is to use. Uh, modify info. It sort of just goes through this really simple interface. Um, so on the whole, I find it quite easy to use, quite intuitive, probably more intuitive than the Villa software. And then you can just close and we're back at the desktop.